When the people in Palestine are losing their lives, being raped and murdered, there's no cry from anybody, no passion. When the same thing happens in Syria, we hear nothing. When the same thing happens in Libya, we hear nothing. When the same thing happens in Iraq, we hear nothing. When the Ukrainians are violating the rights of other Ukrainians, particularly in the Donbass region, there's nobody crying for those people. What is the reason for that? What about India? Why is there nobody in this country raising the concerns of the Indian minorities of the Christians and the Muslims whose rights are being violated by the Indian government? Nobody in this country is saying anything about it. Now, NATO went on and bombed many of the Russian allies. Russia could do absolutely nothing about it and stayed out of it. What did Russia say? Demilitarization. Stay away from my Russian borders. If you notice what has been happening since 1990, they are coming closer and closer and closer to the Russian border until they will make Russia so weak that Russia will have no other option but to give in to them. That is what it is all about. Mm -hmm. But who is the root cause of this whole problem? It is clearly the West and the United States of America that is the root cause of all the mayhem and chaos and destruction all over the world. Let's talk about the biological laboratories which is funded by the Pentagon in Ukraine. Where is it coming from? Why are they getting involved in those? Let's talk, let's talk about the number of people that were massacred by the Ukrainians oh, yes. who have been detained without uh, trial. Nobody has said anything about that as well. Okay. Let's talk about the shelling of the hospitals and the schools and the massacre and the mass graves that were found in Ukraine. Nobody says anything about that. Now, what is Russia asking for? Russia is saying, stay away from my borders and stay away from me. All you have been doing, and remember, Ukraine is being used as a fool by the United States and the West, and they're falling into the trap like many other countries have fallen in the trap previously, and that's what it is all about.